Well, last year, the Metropolitan Child Advocacy Coalition organized its first Pinwheels for Prevention Fun Run and 5K. Yes, it was such a success. They're bringing it back. The date, April 9th, fitting because April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. And Amanda Reiner and Stephanie Gardella are on the MCAC Child Abuse Prevention Council. Nice to have ladies. you here. Yeah, nice to meet in. you. Uh, the facts about child abuse and sex abuse. Uh, let's start right there because that's what we're talking about. What, what can you share in terms of facts and what's going on in, in our area? Right now there's about 1,500 kids that are in foster care in Douglas County. And so the Pinwheels for Prevention efforts are really trying to get those numbers down. We want to keep children in their biological homes, if we can, uh, safe and happy and uh, with their, their own parents. Mm -hmm. but the question about child abuse, but then you bridge it right away to foster care. Mm -hmm. So those two things are absolutely related. Exactly. Mm -hmm. with, with prevention, um, why is it important to raise awareness about it um, for, for parents, for everyone? What's your message? It's really just about awareness, education. The more aware we are as a community, the more involved we are, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to lead to prevention down the road. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's just about educating the community, getting involved as a community, mm -hmm. and raising funds for these organizations like Stephanie was talking and about. And we've all got pinwheels. Mary's stuck hers oh, in the sorry. flowers. <laughs> but we've got pinwheels. So let's talk about this event that's coming up um, that's happening locally here. Yes. Um, so it's the second annual pin, Pinwheels for Prevention mm -hmm. run. Um, it'll be April 9th. And basically we are trying to raise funds as well as just create, again, that culture of awareness mm -hmm. and education. We're so. looking at pictures here. I, <laughs> when I first saw these um, planted around the area, like in my mind, they were like little pinwheel farms. Yeah. And I didn't know initially, this was years ago, like what's the story with those? Mm -hmm. And that's part mm -hmm. of the, the deal, right? You want people to be curious and yes. to look into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And pinwheels really are, part of the campaign is bringing back the play into parenting. And we have a number of community events throughout the year when we bring pinwheels. Watching parents interact with their children with the pinwheels is just amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a simple thing to do, and it just is a reminder how we can bring that play Boy, back in. So low tech, yeah, right? but it so is, much fun. It's very easy. But yeah. And then through all this, you have this safety expo uh, at West Roads, right? Actually, this year, unfortunately, they're not, they're not having the Safety Expo due to funding. We are planning on doing it next year, mm -hmm. but this year um, we are not having it. We're looking at some images of the things you do um, in, in April. It's your busiest month, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. um, throughout the year because the, the month itself is de dedicated to awareness. And part of that is what you're bringing back this year, um, your fun run and walk, yes. 5K, walk for the kiddos. They don't have to go the whole distance. Um, what happened last year that you said, yeah, this was such a success. Of course we're going to do it again. I think it's just getting people involved at the ground level. So we all we all walk, we all run. That's the popular thing to do is mm -hmm. fun runs now. Mm -hmm. So it's about bringing it in at that ground level to get the community involved. And the whole family involved. Yes, Yeah, absolutely. you want sure. kids to be there. Yeah, man, you have a crown on, yes, right? And you have a sash on. Yes. Um, how does this tie, does this tie into your platform? I mean, what you do? Directly. So my platform this year is all about child abuse awareness, education, and prevention. Mm -hmm. um, as a survivor myself, I really firmly believe that education and awareness is going to lead to prevention so it's just about getting the community involved and it's about educating everyone and kind of coming together to protect our children. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. You feel like when when parents know more they make better choices I mean it's like you think you know some people some parents will say like if you're watching the news and there's you know somebody's in court and they say I just snapped I lost it I didn't mean to mm -hmm. I mean is that is that something where you're trying to give parents the tools um, kind of those coping mechanism mechanisms to understand what to do in those moments exactly the the what we focus on are these five protective factors that mm -hmm. make a family strong and the, they're really simple they're things like knowledge of child development parent resilience connections to your community getting concrete supports in your home. Mm -hmm. And it's little things that every parent can do to make their family strong and to reduce the likelihood of child abuse and neglect. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the pinwheel, the walk and run, uh, there's a way to register. Can they go to the website at the bottom of the screen right there? MCACOMONNE.org, sure yes. yep. right? Exactly. Okay. And every participant will also be receiving a pinwheel to plant in their yard as Aww. well. Yeah, so again, creating those questions, yeah. creating that awareness. It makes sense. This is the website um, for the run. It's This site specifically is a little bit longer, and so we didn't have room to put it all on the graphic on the bottom, but we have linked it back to you from our website. So if you go to omahamorningblend.com, look for our visit with the ladies. You'll be able to click there and then link back to the organization site and to the site to register for the event. And there's some extra incentive to do it this week. A little bit of a price break. What do you have here? Um, 
For this week, it'll be $5 off your entry. If you go to our yeah. Facebook page, there's information on there as well. Can I encourage you to wait, though? That way you're giving more money back to the cause. <laughs> I know like part of it right. is you want to incentivize people money. to get involved. But right. then also, this is a fundraiser, and it's happening on April 9th. So a cool way to see downtown Omaha, because your route, right? You're zipping around the Bob, Bob Carey Pedestrian, Pedestrian Bridge. Bridge. Yes. So um, the weather is beautiful this weekend. It's only going to get better, we know, as we, we march towards spring here. Um, but then the information there at the bottom of the screen, if you'd like to go to runsignup.com and then search pinwheels for prevention, um, it'll be evident at that point, um, the event that's happening here in Omaha. Yeah. Amanda, thanks for stopping in. Were you going to give this to me? No, no, she was handing it to me. Just, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, for a, by, yeah. a woman who talks with her hands, I feel like I'm conducting an orchestra <laughs> right here. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank Omaha.